Hello, Assalamu alaikum and good morning from Lahore. I am Dr. Javed Iqbal Khokar, Professor of Forensic Medicine and Toxicology. As we are discussing the thanatology, and in thanatology we are discussing the late changes after death. And the learning objective of today's lecture will be that we will learn in this lecture that what are the late changes which appear after death. And they are basically the putrefaction, mummification, and adipocere formation. And we will start discussion on the putrefaction. And we know that the processes involved, they are the autolysis and the bacterial invasion. And we'll also discuss that for understanding purposes, we divide the changes which appear in putrefaction into three stages, stage one, stage two, and stage three. So starting with the late changes, putrefaction. This is the ultimate fate of all the living creatures. And then arrest of putrefaction leads to another two processes, which is either they are changed into mummified state, mummification, or adipocere formation. These delayed changes, they provide a most certain diagnostic criteria of death. And they are also progressive in nature. So they help in estimation period from time of death. So they help in determination of time since death. Now, starting with the topic of putrefaction, this is the ultimate fate of the body by conversion of this organic matter into inorganic state. And it's absolute and sure sign of death. Then the putrefaction as it is the ultimate fate after death, this is a disintegration of organic matter into inorganics. And this is a process of decomposition by which the dead body is broken into its smaller components and its conversion from organic into inorganic state. So this is by definition, putrefaction is a process of decomposition in which the organic compounds of the body, they are now going to convert into inorganic state as we have been brought up from the soil, elements of the soil, and we have go back to the soil. Is matti ke insaan ne matti me milta hai. So, the decomposition or dissolution of body tissue into gases, into liquids, and into salts. And it involves basically two processes. That there are two processes which are responsible to cause putrefaction. First is the autolysis, autolysis or self-destruction. And second is the bacterial action by the microorganisms which are normally present within the body. So autolysis, it is the softening and liquefaction which occurs in the tissues even under sterile conditions. That is the digestive enzymes which are within the lysosomes, they are released and, they, and these enzymes causes the auto-digestion, self-digestion, self-destruction after death. And this can only be prevented if you keep the body in freezing, that is minus 20 degree temperature. For the bacterial action is as we know that in the living, there is no large number of bacteria which are kept under control by the defensive mechanisms. But after death, these microorganisms, they are out of control, they multiply in a large number and become virulent. And they enter into the bloodstream and through the blood vessels, they spread through whole, throughout the body. So blood is the best medium for there to multiply and invade and travel throughout the body. So after death, the bacteria which are normally inhabiting in the body soon invade the tissues 
and the blood, which is excellent, excellent medium for their growth, they help in their progression. So what are the microorganisms which are normally involved? Most of the bacteria, they come from the bar. And the crostidium velchai, it predominates. The gas producing gram negative, and they pre pre predominate. And if, if death is due to bacterial disease, any, any infective, any septicemia, then the port infection will be much rapid and the course will be uh, starting immediately and it will be rapid in course. Now about the progression of the port infection, the, it is from the signs of port infection, which we observe and they are the color changes, production of the gases, pressure effect of these gases, and then appearance of the maggots, which is further destructive, and other complications, other sequelae or manifestation. But this process can be subdivided into different stages. And this is for our understanding that we divide this process into three stages. And they are stage one, stage two, and stage three. So the summary of this lecture is that we have started discussion on the late changes after death. And we know that the, we have come to know that they are put infection, mummification, and the adipocere formation. And the put infection, we have started discussion on put infection. We understood that put infection is basically two processes are involved, which is autolysis and the bacterial lecture. Then for understanding purpose, we have divided put infection into three stages, stage one, stage two, and stage three. So thank you very much. We'll continue the topic in the next lecture. Take care. Bye-bye. Allah Hafiz. Assalamu alaikum. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. And my channel name is Dr. Javed Iqbal Kokar. Thank you very much.